Hi everyone, welcome back. If you do not know, my name is Devin here on my channel. I cover all things beauty. That includes makeup, fragrance, and designer here and there. If you think that is something you'll be interested in, then I hope you stay and subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to click the notification bell so you're notified every week when I tell about the title of this video, you guys. It is going to be a ranking video. I am so excited to be doing this. I am going to be ranking 25 of the fragrances that I have in my collection that were released in 2024. So if you guys are interested and want to see what my number 25 is all the way up to my number one, then just keep watching. So a little bit of a disclaimer for this video. We all have different scents that we absolutely love, things that work differently on our body chemistry. So do not be offended if my favorite number one is not your favorite or my number 25 is one of your favorites because number 25 is a lot of people's favorite. So yeah, I just want to let you guys know that also, I have been getting comments about like my lipstick sometimes and what I'm wearing. So I wanted to share you with you guys what my lip combo is today. And it's actually two really old MAC lipsticks, but you can find any type of lipstick that looks similar to this. So this is from the MAC Marilyn Monroe collection. If you are a makeup junkie or were in this time era, MAC had the best lipsticks. They were doing some of the best collabs. This is Scarlet Abyss and it is a really beautiful like orangey red shade. And then I also topped it with, um, this was from the Archie's collection and this is Betty Bright. You guys, MAC really used to have some stunning collections. I'm not really into MAC the way that I used to be, um, but I still have a lot of MAC lipsticks that I absolutely love when I was into makeup heavily and MAC lipsticks were my thing. So now we're gonna go ahead and start. So let's let you guys know, some of my fragrances will be in older packaging because just because they were released in 2024 does not mean I was going to be picking them up if it's not necessary. You know, a lot of things that are released earlier on in the year, sometimes we see at SAS and that's when I pick up backups of things if it's something that I really, really enjoy. All right, Four. so we're gonna start with number 25 and actually I no longer have 25 in my collection. I actually took it back to the store today. Um, so yeah, none other than Covered in Roses. I don't like that one. So I did recently just do a video featuring the new Bath & Body Works luxury collection, and that is basically duping a lot of designer and higher-end fragrances. Um, Covered in Roses is a dupe for Delena, and if you know me, then you know roses are not my favorite type of scent. I don't really love rose scents like at all so you will never really catch me with them too often it's probably like one or two that i actually enjoy and usually it's another note in there that is overpowering the rose so um so many people love that one and i think if you love rose scents, you would absolutely love that one i found it to be very very strong it lasted a decent amount of time take in mind these are body sprays body sprays do not always last like fragrances i always have people complaining or telling me like oh it doesn't last i mean it's a body spray it's not meant to last all day over spray your clothes you'll be fine um so yeah, so that is number 25. Right, coming in at number 24 is one from about two years ago. This is a old packaging, but this fragrance comes out every single year. It is in the Tropical Collection and this is Waikiki Beach Coconut. You guys, I do not enjoy the scent of this that much. This has a very strong coconut note in here. Now I know a lot of people really, really enjoy this one as well, but it was never one of my favorites. It's a little bit too woody. A little bit too coconutty yes i can wear it and i can deal with it when i wear it also not the fan of coconut as well coconut is not one of those scents that i am a diehard fan for but i do like some coconut scents if they smell a little bit more sunscreeny i do like the scent of sunscreen for whatever reason but yeah it's not a horrible scent at number 23 it is also a newer one i did a video on this everything that i could think of that is that I might have a video of. I'll try to link below. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. But this one is going to be Brightest Bloom. And as you can see, it is in the smaller 
fragrance. I did just recently do a haul featuring the smaller one, but I also did a dedicated review on the tribal size perfume that I had. Um, is this a bad scent? No, it is not a bad scent, but it's just, it's, it's not my favorite scent. But if you love the smell of like Marc Jacobs Daisy, I really think you would enjoy this. I feel like that is kind of what this is mimicking. Not a spot on dupe, but I feel like it would pair really, really well with it. People really enjoy it. Marc Jacobs Daisy is not a fragrance that I really wear anymore. I think I used to um, early 20s, but that's not anything that I really enjoy right now. Is it a bad fragrance? No, it is not, but it's just not one of my favorites. And at number 22, this is going to be Hello Beautiful. And this is a new one that I purchased this year. Um, I'm not big on floral scents, okay? So if it's overly floral, it's just not really my thing. But this is a beautiful classic scent for Bath & Body Works. And I just really wanted her in my collection. She is really pretty. I think she's great for springtime around this time. But again, it's just something that I don't reach for on a daily basis. All right, coming in number 21 is going to be Tropidelic. Now, a lot of people also really enjoy this scent. Um, I find it to be just a hint too tropical for me. It's not a bad scent at all. It is very, very tropical, kind of reminds me of like the rainforest or something like that. It is really pretty. To me, it smells like it has some sort of coconut in here, even though coconut is not in the notes. Um, but it also has this very fresh rainforesty vibe. So, I mean, it's a nice scent, but um, is it my favorite? Absolutely not. Coming in at number 20 is going to be Tutti Fruity Candy. Now, you guys know that this comes out every year around Easter. Um, I can't remember if it came out in full size this year. Usually, it's an online exclusive. I don't know why they do that with some of these scents, but it is what it is. This one is extremely, extremely sweet. Smells like a very sweet jelly bean candy. It's very, very playful. Not everybody is going to love this type of scent. I do enjoy very sweet scents, but sometimes it can be a little too juvenile. I did purchase this um, just so I can have one in my collection. And also I purchased one for my daughter. She enjoys this one, but she is five. So yeah, again, it's a nice scent, but sometimes it's, it's nothing that I would per se wear outside. This is more so a in the house scent for me, out the shower, than when I just wanna smell very, very sweet. I don't really wear this one outside in public. <laughs> All right, coming in at number 19 is going to be Apple. Now, surprisingly, I do like this Apple a lot more than I like majority of the Apple scents that I have smelled. This one is a very, very crisp Apple scent very clean very very nice but again i'm just not really a fan of apple all that much so that is kind of why it is ranked as low as it is coming in at number 18 is going to be viva vanilla and somehow i thought this one would be ranked a little bit higher but i was smelling all of my fragrances back and forth and this one just got knocked down is this my favorite vanilla scent ever no Absolutely not. A lot of people are saying that the plum note in here is overpowering. I don't really get a lot of the plum note. I do get this amber and vanilla type of fragrance. To me, it smells like almost identical to Sniff's um, Vanilla Vice. Some people say it smells like Vanilla 28. I don't really get that. Well, you know what? I can get why people are saying that, but to me, it really smells more like Sniff fragrance. It's very, very strong in my opinion. Um, and I just feel like it smells like vanilla bean on a waffle cone. That is what it smells like to me. It's a little heavy on the sweetness. So, you know, not my favorite type of vanilla. And I do love a good sweet vanilla, but something about that one and the Sniff a little bit um, can put me off just a tiny, tiny bit. So yeah. So coming in at number 17 is going to be O Cherry. Now, for some reason, I, again, I thought O Cherry would be higher up. I also thought this was going to be one that I really, really loved. 
because so many people were saying that this is like a time for dupe, but the cherry in here is really, really bitter to me. The more I smell it, it is a black cherry, so it's definitely bitter. It's not my favorite. It's not my favorite cherry. Like if I ranked all my cherry fragrances that I have, this probably would be at the bottom of the totem pole. I like it, but I definitely don't love it. And it's definitely more of a winter cherry fragrance. So coming in at number 16 is an Odie Buddy Goodie. It's one that comes out every single year. It came out at the beginning of this year, but this is a older packaging from 2022. This is none other than Strawberry Pound Cake. Now, normally Strawberry Pound Cake would probably be higher up in my ranking, but you guys, so many other fragrances are really taking the cake. Um, if you want a strawberry cake scent, this is definitely your girl. But I don't know. Lately, I have not been reaching for her the way that I used to reach for her. She is nowhere near a bad scent or anything like that. She's always going to be good. She's always going to be a classic. But basically, she comes out throughout the year all the time. So it's kind of almost a little bit repetitive and that is also the reason why others are ranking a lot higher because i just i have others that i love and at number 15 is going to be peach bellini i really really enjoy the scent of this fragrance a lot it is a beautiful peach scent it is very very sparkling peach kind of like champagne -y peach a little bit okay it has it says it has prosecco in it so yes that's the bubbliness from it but I feel like all my peach scents are a little bit different. It smells like orange and peach mimosa. That is what this smells like if you mix the orange and peach mimosa together. That is what this smells like. Very beautiful, absolutely stunning, and I love this fragrance a lot. And number 14 is going to be If You Musk. And if you have not already seen Luxury's collection video, this is a dupe for Glacier You. This is beautiful. Um, I honestly might like this one a little bit more than the actual fragrance of Glossier U. I feel like it's so pretty. It smells, it smells just like Glossier U, but it's giving me a little bit more of the sweetness that I want Glossier U to give me. Also, very, very similar to Seven Virtues Amber Vanilla. It is a new fragrance that also is in that same ballpark as Glossier U. I actually think I like the Amber Vanilla one over Glossier U. Nice, your skin, but better type of fragrance. It's really nice. All right, coming in at number 13 is going to be Calypso Clementine. Now, this is not quite the same as a peach scent. It's kind of like, well, you know what a clementine is. It's kind of like an orange, but it's not an orange. That's exactly what this smells like. It's kind of like an orange, but it's like a little mini tangerine or something like that. It kind of reminds me of that. It's very, very juicy, but I really enjoy the neroli in here. And the dry down has like this nice, sweet woodiness to it. So I do enjoy this one a lot. 12 is going to be an older packaging from last year. This is Pink Pineapple Sunrise. Now, as you know, this did come out again this year. I did pick up the new packaging in the mini for my daughter. I did a video on that. So I do really enjoy this scent. And actually, the longer I have this, the more I enjoy this scent more because this didn't used to be one of my favorite scents, but this is so sweet, juicy. If you can imagine a pink pineapple, that is exactly what this smells like. The pineapple is so prominent in here and I absolutely love pineapple scents. It's just a sweet pink pineapple. And at number 11 is going to be also some older packaging. This packaging is really old. I think from 2021, if I'm not mistaken, this is Fiji Sunshine Guava Teeny. You guys, this used to be one of my favorite scents for a really, really long time. For like summertime, this was my go-to scent. I love pairing this with Max Candy Yum Yum. The guava notes in both of these are like like top tier oh it's so so sweet i forgot all the scent notes in here but i just know this is a sweet fruity bomb it just smells amazing it's kind of mouth-watering and this packaging was so so pretty i mean i wish they would bring something something packaged like this back because it was a gorgeous 
gorgeous packaging. All right, so now we've come into the top 10, you guys. I am excited. Number 10 is going to be Pink Obsessed. Now, it's supposed to be a dupe for Valentino Zana Born Aroma, the original one. And the more I smell this, the more it smells like that. But as I told you guys in that video, this has a little bit of a weird opening for me. So I have to let it sit a little bit. Some people were saying they got a lot of alcohol in theirs. I don't. I feel like I get a lot of like jasmine in the opening or something. But the more it dries down, the more it definitely smells like Donna Born Aroma. And I think they will pair, obviously they will pair beautifully together. So I love that. All right, so number nine is going to be Daffodil Dreams. And I only have the small size because I don't know if the full size only made it to the test stores, but it wasn't online and it is not in any of my local stores. So I had to go ahead and at least pick up one of the travel size. I got me one and my daughter one. And this is a pretty vanilla. I don't know if it's, I can't remember what the scent notes are, but I think vanilla is definitely in here. And it's just a pretty soft vanilla. It is one that I could wear around this time of the year when it's not extremely, extremely hot if I want something that has a light vanilla in it. Um, I think it has daffodils in it as well. I don't really know what daffodils smells like, but to me, it just smells like a sweet vanilla, a little fluffy vanilla, and I really enjoy this one. So that is why this one is in the number nine spot. All right, coming in to number eight is going to be Getaway Soiree. You guys, I love this one. I love this one a lot. This is the Tom for Sole Blanc dupe, and oh my goodness, I love it. This is one of those fragrances that has that like beachy, slightly sunscreeny type scent in here. It has like some solar musk in here, and I think that's what that is. It smells incredible. If you are going on any type of tropical beach vacations, I recommend this. If you feel like Tom Ford Sole Blanc is a lot, like a little bit out of your price range, I would have gotten a backup of this if they had these in my stores. So I don't know if an online order will be placed or not, but it is a beautiful scent. Coming in at number seven, this is going to be Thailand Sweet Kiwi and Starfruit. This is from the Tropical Collection this year. This is a newer scent. Um, to the tropical collection and I love when they add new scents and don't just always bring back the same ones this one is beautiful it's also very mouth-watering it also has some sort of solar wood note in here but the kiwi and the star fruit is magnificent like it is so so beautiful usually the tropical line usually makes it to SAS so when it makes it to SAS this year, I will totally consider buying a backup of this one because I don't know if this is gonna come out next year. Like the, you know, they do have some that come out every year. To my knowledge, I feel so I love this. The number six fragrance is going to be Sweetheart Cherry. You guys, she's amazing. I absolutely love her. She almost made it to the top five, but a couple things was just knocking her down. Um, a lot of people do not enjoy Sweetheart Cherry. A lot of people also say it does not last. I'm so sorry that that is the case for a lot of people. For me, I am a layerer, body lotions, body creams, my fragrance mist, and then a perfume. I'm good. Okay, I'm good. Um, the only time I don't put on perfume heavily is if I'm in the house and I'm not going anywhere I'll just put on a body spray and I do find that this one lasts at least on me at least on my clothes I don't need it to really last on my skin um I know a lot of fragrance mints don't last on skin so I am okay with this but I absolutely love this one I hope it makes it to SAS and I hope it's there for a really good price because I think I already have a backup but I would totally get another one. All right, guys, now y'all done made it to my top five. We're coming in at the number five spot is going to be lavender. You guys, I am so surprised how much I enjoy lavender because I am not a lavender girly at all, never have been, but this is beautiful. It's beautiful and it's super, super strong. 
it smells so good and i feel like wearing this with monger line and also burberry goddess is what really made me enjoy this scent and like i said i've never been big on lavender so i would love to know if you guys have picked this up or smelt it because she truly has blown me away right. and coming in at number four is actually another one that y'all haven't been vibing with like that this is from the bridgerton collection and this is diamond of the season y'all i love this one i love it so much that I it is a beautiful sparkling peach note with um like a hint of floralness in here but i feel like it's really just sparkling very very beautiful i feel like it's super super girly very feminine i love this yeah i really enjoy this fragrance i think it is really amazing and i am happy to have her in my collection and at number three is actually rio pineapple mango you guys this is another new one for this year if i'm not mistaken um i know it's been in candle form but i want to say this is the first time it came out in body care form and this was also a online exclusive but i had to get this one it has fresh pineapple juice mango and vine ripened raspberry it is everything in that it is so sweet, very juicy. I feel like they really killed it with the tropical line this year. They really incorporated some new scents and they are all hits. The tropical line is always extremely fruity, very, very juicy, and this is amazing. I hope that they bring this to stores because sometimes during SAS, they will have some online exclusives in your stores and you're able to get your hands on them. So I hope that's the case because i would love to have that um as a backup all right coming in at number two all right none other than bourbon strawberry and vanilla you guys i've never had this they said this came out in 2018 i don't remember this coming out i probably wasn't into bath and body works the way that i am now oh my this smells phenomenal this is the best fragrance that has come out in this packaging as of yet. It's so beautiful. I love the vanilla in here. I get that strawberry note in here. It's just beautiful. It is so, so beautiful. And I can see this being a all year round fragrance, but I can totally see myself purchasing a backup of this if it goes on sale again for better than $5.95. All right, you guys, and we are down to the number one spot. I think at this point, most of y'all already know what it is, but I'm not going to hold you. Number one spot is taken by none other than Ice Lemon Pound Cake. Guys, yes, I don't care what y'all say. She can't do no wrong in my book. I am a huge fan of of her since she came out last year. This is one of my backup bottles, my new one that I just recently purchased. Not, I know not a lot of people wanna smell like a lemon pound cake, but I am totally here for it. You can catch me smell like a lemon pound cake snack, okay? I love this one. My husband tells me how good it smells every single time I wear it. I have been wearing it a lot since last month. It is in my project. Um, use it up for spring because I love this fragrance so much. I have, what do I have on my acro bake right now on my tray? I have been pairing this with that. I mean, the combos are endless with this fragrance, but I absolutely love this one. And I really feel like they did their big one with this. Like this needs to come out every single year. Y'all might even get tired of this coming out every single year, but I will take this along the lines of how they bring strawberry pound cake out every year. They could bring her out every year. Okay, so that is it guys. I know this was a pretty long video. So thank you guys so much if you made it to the end of this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in another video.